Today we are compression testing my blown Mazda RX-8 to see how bad this engine really is. So compression testing in RX-8 is actually really easy with the right tool, a rotary compression tester. Now these things run for around $300, reasonable for the technology but a bit pricey if you only plan on using it once or twice. You can also go to a Mazda dealership for a compression test or look on eBay or Mazda RX-8 Club for a rotary compression tester rental. Compression tests are done on warm engines, but this particular RX-8 will not stay running without stalling long enough so that I can warm it up. So we are gonna have to do a compression test on it cold. I've done a video on this already, so you'll know what to expect. We should be getting higher numbers, about six or seven PSI. So let's get the compression tester hooked up to this thing and we'll see what the compression really is. All right, so we've got the compression tester hooked up to the rear rotor, and what we're gonna do is crank it over. So let's hop in. So it says begin cranking. So what we do is gas clutch all the way down, put the key ignited ignition, and then we're gonna start cranking to see how the compression is. There we go, we got 283 RPM for cranking, so this is a healthy starter. We see the corrected results it's gonna give us in a second um, for PSI, because we're in the states. 107, 104, 103 for all three faces. So those are actually pretty good compression, and it's definitely within spec, so that is actually a passing rotor. That is pretty good compression. So now what we're gonna do is move to the front rotor and check that compression. All right, so we've got the sensor hooked up in the front rotor. Now we're gonna crank it over and see if this one is the one that's low compression. Or maybe it's not low compression at all. We're gonna find out. So same procedure. Gas and clutch down. Of course, I disabled the crankshaft position sensor, so we aren't getting any of that. It says begin cranking, so let's crank it over, see what the results are. Wow. So this is what we're getting. I don't know if you guys caught that, but uh, once it goes back to PSI, that was a slower RPM, 143, and then corrected 29, 29, 29. So we're actually in spec without the differences, but 29 PSI, that's way out of spec. There's definitely some sort of catastrophic leak of some sort. There's no way this thing is holding compression in that front rotor. So when I had this car running just for a little bit, it kept stalling because it was really only running off that rear rotor. So that's really interesting. We are currently running off of the rear rotor only, and that's why this car is running so poorly. So when we rebuild this, we are obviously going to replace all the components, but as you can see, this car clearly needs a rebuild. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to stay with us because next week we are going to take this engine out of the car and then we're going to get into disassembling it. So I'll see you next week.